calculating drip rates. When medicine is administered through an intravenous drip, to ensure the patient receives the correct dose over time, the rate at which the drug enters the patient has to be set correctly. Rate is a measure of the amount of something in a given time. In this case, we are measuring the rate as numbers of drops per minute. Here is an example of a drip rate calculation. A patient is to receive 500 mils of 5% dextrose over 10 hours. Calculate the drip rate in drops per minute. The giving set runs at 60 drops per milliliter. So 500 mils of 5% dextrose will be put into a bag and this will slowly drip away for 10 hours. The giving set is a piece of equipment that controls the rate at which the drug is administered. It can control the rate of the drug in two ways. Firstly, by the size of the drops, and secondly, by the speed at which the drops fall. The faster the drops fall, the more drops per minute. In our example, the size of drops is such that one mil is split into 60 little drops. This is said to be 60 drops per mil. Our question is, how many drops per minute will there be if it is to run over 10 hours? Let's look at the time first. There are 60 minutes in one hour, so how many minutes are there in 10 hours? We multiply 60 by 10 to get 600 minutes. We now have to ask, how many drops will there be in 600 minutes? We know we have a total volume of 500 mils and our giving set delivers at 60 drops per mil. So what will be the total number of drops in 500 mils? 500 mils times 60 drops per mil will give us 30,000 drops. So we have 30,000 drops over the whole length of time, which is 10 hours. How fast will these drops be falling? In other words, how many drops per minute? This is what 24 drops per minute looks like. And this is faster at 144 drops per minute. In our example, 30,000 drops must be given at a constant rate over 600 minutes. To find the number of drops in one minute, we divide the total number of drops by all 600 minutes. This gives us a value of 50 drops in one minute. So the drip rate for our example is 50 drops per minute. It will take 10 hours at 50 drops per minute for the entire 500 mils of dextrose to infuse into the patient. The following slide is a formula for calculating drip rates in drops per minute. You can see all the same key pieces of information we have used to calculate our answer. Here are our values for volume, time and giving set calibration inserted into the equation. You can use this method to check your answer and as you can see it has come out the same as 50 drops per minute.